everybody back with another video and today is a question and answer and today's question is from Billy Tolliver and he says if there's no common wire does the troubleshooting for it change or still use your lead on common question mark um, here and he's re he's referring to a video that I did uh, it's the uh, ba basic electrical 101 number eight, starting with the HVAC series. So this is for the HVAC guys. No, you don't. Uh, it does it does change a little bit because if there's no common wire, say going up to the thermostat. And sorry, I don't have any whiteboard set up yet to uh, uh, kind of draw this out for you. But envision the 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 furnace in in this case uh, having the transformer. Okay, the transformer has a uh, common and hot wire coming out of it and typically what happens is the, uh, the, the, the red or the R, the hot wire, will go down to the terminal strip and that's basically what powers everything. That's your R. It goes up to the thermostat. The thermostat then decides where does that power go. We're going to send it down to white wire and do a call for heating. We're going to send it down the yellow wire and the green wire to turn on the outdoor compressor and, and turn on the uh, uh, the fan or do we just send it down the green wire and just turn the fan on and and you notice that all of those functions that that thermostat just did doesn't really require you to have a common the only reason you'd really need to have a common up on the thermostat would be if it's a power if it needs to be powered most thermostats are battery powered. You can however in some cases, some thermostats have a common wire and if you run a common wire the thing will draw power off of the transformer rather than utilizing that battery voltage uh, therefore your, your batteries will last a lot longer in that thermostat. Um, so so does the diagnostic change a little bit? And I'd, I'd have to say yes it, it does depending on the, 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 the case or the scenario but uh, what you would do in that case is find a good place on the chassis or, or the body of the, of the piece of equipment that you're working on because somewhere or, or another it's, that is, should be grounded. So if you just jam your lead into a, a, on a screw or in a hole or someplace you can wedge it between two pieces of metal or something like that, and then you're free to use that other lead around wherever you need to. Um, to uh, to do your diagnostics, so but you want to start by first putting it on ground and then touching the R or, or, or the first thing that comes out of that transformer to verify that you do have voltage and and you got a good ground there. So then you can move on from there. So uh, I, that's about the best I can do for an answer on that. Uh, there's there's lots of different variables that could come into play, but um, uh, Billy, I hope that helped you uh, answer your question. And uh, uh, for everybody else, I'm sure probably had a similar question for every one question that somebody asked. There are tons more that have the same question, so don't, uh, uh, don't worry about asking questions. Somebody else just didn't have, uh, uh, have enough guts, I guess, to ask the question or, or whatever. But anyway, good question, and hopefully that answered your question. Uh, don't forget to please like and subscribe and comment. Um, see you guys on the next video.